would be the dumbest idea I've ever had. Like I'm feeling some sort of burning sensation. Scented, ew, it's sticky, that grosses me out. It's the middle of the night, and I wanted to film something, but there's not much we can do at 12 in the a.m., so I decided why not pack up my restroom and have you guys join me. Box number one. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, I don't go in this box ever. Actually, that's a lie. I do go in to get these Q-tips, but I've never seen this. It's stone crop body oil. And no, I don't use that. At least not by myself. Trash. What the hell did I need that for? I think you guys want to see what's in here. Okay, Q-tips. Must have these. Ooh, you know what these are, right? Nice. An empty box of trash. Dude, I literally just bought a new razor because I didn't know where this one was. This is what I get for letting my ex pack up her stuff and move my stuff around. Without me. Look at this. I just bought this. Because I was looking for this. <laughs> Why haven't I shaved the new one I bought? I don't know. But that's not the point. Point is, once again, my ex has costed me money. I'm not even with her anymore. Come on. We got this mouth guard thing that, ugh. It's been in my ex's mouth. I guess that's not the only thing in this room that's been in my ex's mouth. <laughs> Get your mind out of the gutter. Obviously, I meant something like this toothpaste because I haven't had to get a new tube in quite some time, which means obviously she used it at some point. Y'all are nasty. <laughs> All right, a pad to sit on when you're in the shower so that you don't slip around and you can maybe scrub your feet. I truly don't know why anyone would buy this. You could just sit on the floor for free, I mean. Oh, it's for the bathtub. <laughs> Oh, I'm starting to see why somebody would make that purchase. Okay, that makes more sense, but don't need it. The rest of this basket was nothing but shampoo items. Um, I'm assuming she put this stuff away so that we could take pictures because clearly we were still using it. Um, everything's half full, so. Kids are gonna love all of this, by the way. They're gonna whip up so many imaginary potions with these. Love that. Basket number three, okay. More shampoo and such. Kids are gonna love this. What the? They're empty. Why even put these away? Why? All right. So, got our manscaped goodie bag. Definitely gonna need that, especially now that we're single. <laughs> Who remembers this thing? This is incredible. Guys, I found my new thing. But who needs to brush their teeth when they can do this? I <laughs> just. Why don't we use it before I get rid of it, huh? One last time, you know? For all time's sake. Oh, oh, I'm just gonna have it. <coughs> Hell no! Oh, that hurt my brain! I must have been desperate to breathe the last time I used this. This thing sucks. Ugh, oh, it burns so good. I'm just kidding. It actually burns and I don't like that. It, like, hurts in here and behind my eyes. Oh, it feels like there's water. Do we really need this much coconut oil? I didn't buy this, BT Dubs. My ex did. More shampoos and such. This one is half used too. Why are we putting away half used crap? Oh, dude, I literally just bought some because I didn't know I had some. Oh my God, that is mildly infuriating. Oh my God, and I found a stash of razors. Foot exfoliation peeling mask. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all this foot stuff definitely wasn't for me, but kind of curious. It contains safe and powerful botanic extracts that peel away dead skin without harsh scraping or scrubbing. What the? I like two shoes. <laughs> you can like walk around in them and stuff. Never done one of these before, so I can't really compare it to anything, but feels nice. That's for sure. Nice, been hoarding on to that. Ball wipes with active pH control. I'm gonna have the freshest ball. This was from when I got my wisdom teeth removed. Don't need that. Random cord. Um, this, obviously, we just saw, I hated this. Get out of here. <laughs> I wish I could say this is my ex's and be like, oh, she forgot her nail formula, how weird, but the truth is, last month, I nicked myself while shaving, and uh, let's just say it was a terrible, painful experience. I wanted to find an alternative to that, 
thought Nair would be a good idea, but after reading some reviews, I realized that there's a 50-50% chance I will have a terrible chemical burn and not be able to walk for an entire week. I did pay like the 10 bucks to do it. No lie, I'm actually super nervous right now. One Reddit comment in particular scared the crap out of me. I mean, like I said, only half of the reviews were bad. The other half said it was totally fine, nothing happened. Let's hope I'm part of the okay half. Is it weird? Is it weird <laughs> that I'm talking to you guys while drying myself off? Yes, that's weird why they say that. What I was actually gonna say is, is it weird that I'm already sensitive down there and I haven't put anything on yet? Like I'm feeling some sort of burning sensation and I haven't touched nothing. This is a terrible idea. But I'm gonna do it anyways. Oh my god, I'm nervous. Oh my god, this might be the dumbest idea I've ever had. Why am I doing this? I don't know how much I should put either. Why am I doing this if I'm scared? Ow. Okay, here goes nothing. Don't rub it in. Like icing. I got it on my shaft. Oh shoot, that is not where I want it. Okay, this was a terrible idea. I'm getting this crap off immediately. Got some on my shaft. I'm freaking out right now. This was terrible, stupid, stupid idea. Oh my god, it's not coming off. <laughs> okay, that was terrifying. Truthfully, it didn't really do anything. Um, I just kind of panicked and freaked out once I felt like that minty feeling. Those reviews definitely got to me. And the minute I started feeling that cooling effect, I was like, yo, I think this is worse than getting nicked. Stick to what you know. Anyways, let's get back to the packing. And you didn't have to cut me off. No, I'm not saying that because I got broken up with. I'm really not. Can I emphasize that enough? I'm not. <laughs> What's wrong with me? What the f is this? Am I reading that right? Eye gel cream? What the hell is eye gel cream even used for? My best guess is to gel your eyelashes and maybe spike them up or put around your eye if you've got like some sort of infection. This is not mine though is what I'm trying to say. I don't know what the f this is. Damn, there ain't no nail this ain't getting through. You could, you could literally shave your horse's hooves with this thing. Clear these aren't mine. Okay. Hand cream. Trash trash, all this looks like old junk. Glow pill super serum. If that doesn't sound inappropriate, I don't know what does. Glow pill super serum. I'm assuming it's a little, I don't know. Brightening roll on eye serum. Underneath your eyes, maybe it's for some bags. Okay, so maybe this serum isn't for what I thought it was. The consistency though is a little sus. Anyways, trash, trash, trash. And now last, but not least, we got some more body oil, but this time it's apricot scented. Ew, it's sticky, that grosses me out. Like I said, I haven't been using that. I've never used that alone. Why do I feel the need to mention that? I don't know, it just makes things weird if I don't. Or does it make things weird if I do? Witch hazel astringent. What is that? Gently used to clean and soothe even the most sensitive skin. I need to do a little more research before I use this. I mean, I probably should be using something like that. Especially because I'm breaking out really bad right now. But I think it's stress induced. All this other crap though is just random trash. All the things I wanted to keep, threw away all the things I didn't want to keep, and now this bathroom is pretty much empty and only has like a few essentials that I'm gonna need for this next month or so. I mean, look, that right there is literally it. Every other drawer and cabinet is empty, plus those baskets are empty. Everything on the shelf back here, I'm gonna either throw away like those towels because they're all stained and old. They're all kind of like falling apart. That stuff I'm gonna leave for the uh, estate sale. Wherever I decide to move, I am definitely gonna need these things right here. I don't know what they're called, but I love them. I love the vibe it gives off, and I feel like they're gonna match well with pretty much any restroom. I also love that these give like a feminine vibe that I really need. I don't, that's one thing I don't want to have for my next house is like a man cave or like a bachelor pad. I still want it to look like 
like a nice well done place, you know, like. Oh. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this random spontaneous video. Um, I'm trying to figure out what content I like to make that you guys also like to watch. So comment down below some ideas that you may want to see. Um, I thought my last video was hilarious. No one else seemed to like it. I probably should have done more research on the guy before I did his push-up challenge, but it was just a push-up challenge. I didn't mean to offend anybody, and I mean, I thought he was kind of like a comedian dude. I didn't know that he was as bad as everyone has made me realize he is. Like, the video was still funny, come on. I didn't mean anybody any harm. But yeah, I want to make content that you guys like to watch and that I like to make. Um, I really did have fun doing that push-up challenge, so maybe I'll head more in the fitness direction. I don't know. I have no idea where I'm going with this. But maybe I'll discover something new through you guys. So let me know. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!